Okay, this is what it looked like in the winter time in northern Washington where I used to live. And uh, we had a lot of fun in the snow, of course. But uh, if I wanted to take my Phantom out, by, this, by the way, this is a Phantom 1. It doesn't say Phantom 1 because there was no Phantom 0. But uh, anyway, when I take this out, I had an attachment on here for a gimbal. By the way, that's the kind of battery that they uh, sold for these. It would last about six minutes, and then you better start finding a place to land. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So anyway, if I took it out, I had a gimbal on here that held my, uh, my um, GoPro. And then so when I would uh, come in to land in the snow, did you know that a GoPro camera gets warm when it's recording? So when it would come down, uh, wherever the camera would touch snow, it would turn to water immediately and get all over the camera. So it was just not very convenient. And back then I thought, I wish I could fly this thing indoors, but of course, it's a little big to try to fly indoors. So anyway, uh, something that could be flown indoors would be perfect for this kind of weather. All right, it's about the same time of year around Thanksgiving down here in Arizona, about five years later than the last video, but same time of year and it's about 64 degrees. We're having kind of a stormy uh, day today. And uh, this is, uh, kind of abnormal because normally this time of year it's uh, sunshiny and, and clear. But uh, that doesn't matter. What the problem is, is in the summertime around here in the same area, uh, in uh, like uh, July and August, you can count on the temperature being around 110 uh, above and below that and uh, it gets mighty hot and that is in the shade. So when I go to fly my drone, uh, it's pretty hard to, to be able to fly at any time of day because uh, of uh, the high temperatures because the drone doesn't fly in the shade. <laughs> Wait a minute. There is a drone that flies in the shade. Yep, I finally got my Mavic Mini. I ordered it the 1st of November and uh, was so hopeful that it would come <laughs> sooner before now. And then I started uh, listening to the videos uh, of uh, the delay because of customs and everything. So uh, it came today and I took it outside to calibrate it. But this is the very first flight and I wanted to be able to fly it indoors because uh, when it's really hot in the summertime, uh, this little guy can sit inside and just fly and fly and fly and fly and fly. And, uh, I think probably I've explained it in some previous videos, but you probably haven't heard all of my previous videos. But uh, my dad worked for United Airlines when I was a kid growing up, so I was around planes a lot, plus he went to the local little airport and worked on planes there. And so uh, one time came that I could fly model airplanes, well, I had uh, the control line planes, me and my little brother, and we had a lot of fun with that. And as the years went by, I kept playing with planes like that, and then eventually, uh, uh, the day came that I was able to purchase my own full-size airplane. And uh, that was a Cessna 150. And I had that, I learned to fly in it, and I had that for about a year. And then I was uh, blessed to be able to uh, sell it and buy a Cessna 170, which is a four-seater. That way I could carry my family everywhere I went. And uh, so, and I had that until, I've had that for, uh, until just a few years ago when I sold it. Uh, but I also, in the process of helping other people with their planes uh, and uh, working on their radios and, and all kinds of things, I was able to fly a lot of other planes. Uh, a Cessna 172, which is like a 170, but the 170 uh, drags its tail on the ground and the 172 has a, has a, a tricycle gear, so. And then also one of the most exciting uh, flights, and I've got, I'll try to remember to put some links to these, was flying a, an open cockpit uh, Flybaby uh, one-seater, and it, it's uh, like a homemade airplane. And then also I was able to fly an old Stinson, and a Stinson uh, had a, what's called a Franklin engine, and they still have them, but uh, that's, that goes way, way back. I was able to fly a little Taylor Craft for a friend. He, he wanted me to go, he bought it and he wanted me to fly it home for him. So I got to fly a little Taylor Craft. I spent quite a bit of time flying and working on a Cetabria, which is a, a 
that's aerobatics spelled backwards and uh, so I got to fly that and also I got to fly a Bonanza V-tail I got certified in that so and I can't remember I think that's about all the airplanes that I was able to fly and and so uh, it's just kind of built into me when uh, uh, when the uh, drones came out um, it was because of I'm getting old and by the way you notice the dust I don't know if you noticed the uh, the uh, golden retriever that walked out of the picture there uh, at the beginning but before I uh, flew this flight I went out with the I came around with a vacuum vacuum the floor because I know she sheds a lot and I vacuumed and vacuumed but I didn't take the hose and vacuum underneath the things so there you go <laughs> anyway uh, so uh, uh, we won't call this flying FPV we'll call it uh, 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 chasing uh, <laughs> hairballs or something like that but anyway I'm very happy I got my uh, Mavic uh, Mini and uh, I'll be flying it outside all winter and probably inside some and then next summer when it's really hot I can just sit around and continue my love for flying indoors and uh, so it looks like I wasn't sure if I could fly FPV in the house with this but uh, it looks like it's gonna work quite well so anyway, um, that's uh, my story. This is my first flight of my Mavic FPV, or my Mavic Mini, excuse me. And uh, I enjoyed it very much, and I hope you did too. So I'll just uh, leave it at that. And I uh, want to thank you for watching. It looks like I might have run into the wall when I turned up this hallway. I'm not sure, because I wasn't watching. So, But right about here, uh, I think I bumped into the wall. I'm not sure. Well, anyway... I'll just let you finish watching the video and uh, I'm very thankful to the Lord for providing me with a, with a drone like this. So thanks for watching and God bless.